us, we see people at what we believe is their worst moment. At the time in which somebody must decide that they have to reach out because they have to choose between the streets or a shelter or, or, or making decisions that nobody else could ever imagine. It is up to us to treat that person with the most dignity and respect that we possibly can. So Homeful started almost 30 years ago in the basement of Christ Episcopal Church, which is downtown Dayton. We started as a community's response to the fact that the emergency nighttime shelter, St. Vincent's, closed at about seven in the morning and didn't open up again until about eight or nine o'clock at night, and homeless folks had nowhere to go. People got together and recognized that people needed a place to get in and out of the weather, and so the other place started. So what Homeful looks like today is certainly what I'd like to say is rooted in, in, in really the core of what started us, which is a community's response to, uh, uh, to serving homeless folks. We're comprehensive, we're client focused, we're strategic, and we are certainly battling what we believe is the core root of homelessness, and that's poverty. Hi, my name is Carla. I'm a current resident at um, Homefold at FLC. Uh, I basically got here because I was homeless for approximately nine months, and that's because I was in a domestic violent relationship. Um, since then, I have left him. Um, I'm in a more stable environment. I'm a better mother for my, myself and my kids. Um, I've been at Homefold now for a year and a half. I love the staff here at Homefold. They help me be a better me. They help me get my self-esteem back up. Pretty much everything you ask, they will help you get the ball rolling. Uh, my short-term goals is to go back to nursing school, which I'm trying to enroll now. I really want to thank you, Homefold, for helping me be a better me. Thanks. When we think about a vision of a community where there is no homelessness, that means that people could become homeless for whatever reason that is, and that it's short, and that we quickly, we rehouse them, and we start to give them the support services that they need so that they never return to homelessness again. We're thinking about, you know, this person came to us with a life long before they hit homelessness, and so we talk to them about their goals and what their wishes are and you're, you're hearing the hope and optimism in them that says, I want to get back to what I had before, which is a home of my own, uh, an opportunity to reconnect with families, um, an opportunity to, to engage in meaningful employment again and provide for my own family. So that's, that's what I think about when I think about solutions and I think our clients think about that too. We very highly value every year is our client satisfaction survey. We, we survey our clientele twice a year. And how we do in that is as important to us as any of our other outcomes. It's very valuable to us to know that our clients are number one, being treated with dignity and respect, uh, that we value the care of our clients as much as we value all of the numbers that we show in all of our outcomes. Treating people with dignity and respect is something that I personally believe in. You know, we wouldn't be doing this work if it weren't because we were driven to serve people. You know, you have to recognize that people don't choose to become homeless one day. For us, we see people at what we believe is their worst moment. At the time in which somebody must decide that they have to reach out because they have to choose between the streets or a shelter or, or, or making decisions that nobody else could ever imagine. So some of the most common uh, misconceptions of homelessness is truly that uh, people are homeless because they choose to be. That, oh, they're lazy, or, you know, or oh, it's that panhandler at the end of the exit ramp. The average age of a homeless person in this country is nine years old. I ask folks a lot of times, close your eyes and tell me what you see when I say homelessness. And generally, they're gonna tell me something that is that stereotype. You can even Google it and find it. What you don't see is the person that wants to work 60 hours a week because that's what it takes to afford affordable housing in our community. Or the mom that struggles with finding daycare and has to make decisions between food and transportation and health care. So I want people to understand that homelessness isn't what you think it is, that it is truly people trying to work hard to overcome the issues that they've been dealing with their entire lives. I use the phrase uh, that we make, we do our services on a continuum of before, during, and after homelessness. 
And what that means for us is that there are lots of different ways to, to tackle the issue of homelessness. Homeful Solutions is a social enterprise that Homeful started a few years ago um, for a couple different reasons. The first, almost always, it seems if we start a new program, it's because we've received feedback um, from the community. And in particular, in this case, we received feedback from the clients that we serve as they were talking about, you're doing a great job helping us find housing. But in order for us to keep this housing and pay our rent, we need jobs that we can do, that we can maintain, and that we can earn livable wages so that we can stay in our house. We, we involve them in the decisions about their lives. We listen to them regularly, whether that's in, in meeting one-on-one -on -one with a person and, and sitting across them in, in an intake or an assessment or, or crossing someone on the streets. It is truly how you want to be, you want to be treated. Homeful is recognized nationally, um, particularly as part of the continuum of care of Dayton and Montgomery County for work that we've done in, in ending homelessness. We have specifically been part of the collaboration that ended veteran homelessness last year. How exciting to say that we've ended veteran homelessness. We have significantly reduced the number of people experiencing homelessness on any given point in time um, by almost 50%, even within the last three years. It's no secret that Homeful is a change agent. Looking ahead to the next 10 years of Homeful, I see more changes based on addressing poverty issues as a whole. We've more recently gotten engaged in the issues like food access, um, addressing the needs of a low income or um, poverty stricken family or an individual has to be there has to be more of an answer than just here's an apartment. And sure enough, um, you know, if you plant seeds and give them love and attention, they grow. From that work at the garden uh, and the farm that we operate, we've really made some great partnerships in the community, making sure that we could then get the produce that we grow out to the people who need it most. Again, in these food desert neighborhoods, particularly focused in West Dayton. And so our work with um, some pop-up stands, and there's about 14 different partnerships now that we have. Um, we're also doing these pop-up market stands where we accept uh, food stamps, SNAP EBT, and an incentive program called Produce Perks. So low-income folks that might be on food stamps can come and shop at these pop-up stands not far from their home so they don't have to travel far to get access to fresh, healthy foods. It's a really, really exciting initiative. By being able to surround ourselves with people that share those opinions of, of questioning the status quo, of pushing themselves, of what, you know, always looking to do better, and certainly what is in the best interest of the people Homeful serves. The Family Living Center, which is a permanent supportive housing program for families located in West Dayton. Homeful actually bought that property outright and we operate it. There's another 16 acres right beside us there that we have, we have thought about the opportunity to take the experience we've gotten from the farm and our other work in food access and really build housing, food, and jobs. An opportunity in one location in West Dayton to move the needle. So to be able to connect all of those dots in one location um, is, is a dream of ours that we're pursuing actively right now. And we've got some great initial support locally uh, and we hope that continues. When you can be part of whatever solution it is that, that took them from homelessness to housing and independence, when you're able to house them and, and link them to all the services and they get jobs, you know, those are the moments that, that we find so exhilarating to be a part of. To, to actually see somebody's life change is truly remarkable. Thanks, Homeful!